Hi, I'm Jessica with Pet Friendly Dental Care. Over 80% of dogs and cats are suffering from some form of dental disease or dental injury. That's why we've spent the last 10 years developing the non-anesthetic dental program. When this program is implemented into your practice, you will see a great increase in your customer compliance for dental care, as well as this being a great complement to your already existing dental care program. We are going to show you a video step-by-step -step of the non-anesthetic dental process. We'll be working on a black Labrador retriever named Catfish. Catfish was adopted from the Humane Society only a few months ago, and we had never met Catfish before this day. Notice how comfortable and calm Catfish is through the entire procedure. Thank you for watching this video and see for yourself how effective non-anesthetic dentistry is. The first step in our non-anesthetic dental is the patient history and medical overview. Each pet is unique. We like to have a detailed history of the patient's medical background so that we can comfortably and accurately perform our procedure. We want to be aware of any medical issues the pet has, such as previous injuries, surgeries, heart murmurs, history of seizures. We ask that the clients fill out a basic medical form. This way we can ensure the pet has a safe and comfortable procedure. The next step in our non-anesthetic dental is the oral exam. We perform a thorough oral exam so that we can ensure there is not something that would be better addressed under anesthesia. We closely examine each tooth for obvious signs of mobility, complicated tooth fractures with pulp involvement, severe malocclusions, growths. We always check for symmetry to make sure there's no signs of an abscess, and we look for gingivitis or stomatitis that's painful to the touch. At this time, during our oral exam, if the technician finds any abnormality, we immediately bring it to the attending veterinarian's attention. This way, the doctor can decide whether or not the pet would be better suited for an anesthetic procedure. We are advocates for anesthetic dentals, and we find that once our services are implemented into the clinic, the number of anesthetic dentals actually increases. This is a beautiful black Labrador retriever that we're doing this procedure on. He has level three plaque and tartar, very thick calculus. You can see it specifically on the premolars and you can definitely notice it on the, the maxillary carnasials. We use hand scalers to remove plaque and calculus from the exposed crown surfaces. This includes the buccal, lingual, distal, mesial, and palatal surfaces. We find that hand instruments are incredibly detailed and actually allow you to do a more thorough cleaning. We always back our scalers with a tissue to ensure that we catch the debris that we are removing. Remember, the pet is not sedated so they have complete control over their gag reflux. Thus, there is no risk of aspiration. Notice how we're cleaning out the developmental grooves always using the side angle of the scaler to ensure that we're not doing any etching of the enamel. It's important that we clean every surface. We make sure we get all of the maxillary and mandibular molars. A lot of our scaling is done by feel. A smooth tooth is a clean tooth. Many people compare this service to that of pediatric dentistry. We use patience, soothing, calm voices to talk to them while we're doing the cleaning. And you can notice this, this pet is not you know, afraid, he's not moving, he's not uncomfortable. He's very calm and patient during this procedure. He would let us know if he was uncomfortable in any way. One of the biggest controversies in regards to non-anesthetic dentals is if we are able to adequately clean the lingual and palatal surfaces. As you can see in the video, we are able to very thoroughly clean both lingual, mesial, distal, and palatal surfaces. We are very focused on the comfort and happiness of the pet while the procedure is taking place. The next step in our non-anesthetic dentals is curatage. We use curettes to safely remove all of the plaque and calculus on the subgingival and sublingual surfaces. 
This is a vital portion of the non-anesthetic dentistry, also of any dental cleaning. So we make sure to diligently and carefully remove all of the bacteria. This process should not be painful. If the pet is suffering from advanced gingivitis or even stomatitis, we can apply a topical lidocaine gel to reduce sensitivity. This is at the veterinarian's discretion. You'll notice here the pet is not moving or jerking his head at all while we clean these areas. We ensure we adequately clean the subgingival portions. The curette allows us to do a very thorough cleaning without lacerating the gum line. We clean under the gum line both on the lingual palatal surfaces and labial. The next step is probing. We are able to adequately probe the gums to look for abnormal pocket depths. Measuring pocket depths is a great way to diagnose dental disease. If we find an abnormal pocket depth, we make a note on the chart and we notify the doctor. This way we can better track the progression or the regression of the pet's dental health in the future. We are able to flush any abnormal pocket depths using a perio syringe and oral chlorhexidine solution. This helps us to remove any bacteria that may be stuck in those pockets and this helps promote healing. Notice how this is not a painful part of the procedure because the sulcus allows us to penetrate the probe in the normal gingival margin. Our next step is polishing. Polishing is an important part of any dental cleaning. This helps us to ensure that we've smoothed out the enamel from any imperfections we may have caused. We use a pumice-based profi paste with a light level of fluoride. This light level of fluoride helps us to strengthen enamel and reduce sensitivity. We use an oscillating profi angle, so this way we don't risk tangling any of the pet's hair during the polishing process. The pumice-based profi paste is lightly flavored to ensure the pet's enjoyment during this step of the procedure. During dental cleanings, we may cause superficial etching of the enamel. We want to ensure that we use a pumice-based profi paste at the end of the cleaning so we can gently smooth out any imperfections we may have caused during the dental cleaning. Our pumice-based profi paste has a light level of fluoride. This allows us to have the strengthening benefits of fluoride as well as decreasing sensitivity. As you can see here, our next step is irrigation. We use a human grade oral chlorhexidine rinse to gently eliminate any residual plaque or bacteria that may be left behind after the cleaning. This solution also helps improve any inflammation or gingivitis. If a pet has advanced inflammation and gingivitis, we sometimes recommend the owners take home the oral chlorhexidine rinse. Used regularly, this will help reduce any inflammation or gingivitis. One of the last steps in our procedure is charting. Our charting system is very detailed. We want to make sure that we note any and all abnormalities so that we can track the progression or regression of each pet's oral health. Our detailed dental chart is a three-ply carbon sheet so that everyone gets a copy. One stays with the chart, one goes home with the pet owner, and the other one the technician takes. We are happy to discharge the clients at the end of the procedure. We take this time to go over the findings of the dental cleaning. We also like to educate the clients on the importance of dental care we find that this increases the number of clients that are coming back on a regular basis. Now that you have seen the benefits of our non-anesthetic dental program, we hope you are as excited as we are. 
We have implemented this program into over 300 veterinary practices, and we have seen an increase in customer compliance, an increase in dental revenue, and overall healthier pets. To get started, call us today at 800-383-5167, or you can email us at jessica at petfriendlydental.com. Thank you so much.